So far, I've mentioned a couple of keyboard shortcuts, so we should talk about just that, managing our keyboard shortcuts. So on the Mac, I'm going to go underneath my Fireworks menu and choose my keyboard shortcuts. On the PC, this is under your Edit menu. The great thing about this particular set to start with is I have a Fireworks keyboard shortcuts freehand, Illustrator, and even Photoshop. So whatever tool that you have normally been the most comfortable with, you can use those keyboard shortcuts for the particular tool. So let's just say we're in our web standard at the moment. And I've got my different sections here for my menu commands. I also have tools and just miscellaneous. So I'm going to keep in my menu commands for just a second. And let's say underneath my file menu, I want to be able to share my screen on a regular basis. So that doesn't have a keyboard shortcut to it. So when I select it here, underneath my description and my shortcuts, I can click on my little plus symbol. And now I can press a key, and that's going to be part of my keyboard shortcut. So for instance, on the Mac, I may just choose my Option F, for instance. On the PC, you could choose Alt Shift F. Then I can just click on Change, and now that has changed that part of my menu. So I can use that as a keyboard shortcut and share my screen on a regular basis without having to go to that particular menu and choose it. Now, if I go in here and I change a whole bunch of other things, and I want this to be in my dropdown as my current set, I need to be able to save this. So this little button right here allows me to save this as, and I would probably, instead of just in my documents or wherever I put it, I'd probably go ahead and put it somewhere nice and safe so that I can add to it, delete it, whatever I need to do with that particular set. And now I've got my own set of keyboard shortcuts. And I'm just going to click Cancel. And now, next, we're going to talk about using our help effectively.